Shame and the Prentice, I've heard back in the mid uh, 80s uh, from an elder uh, telling the story about this grandmother and granddaughter who live in the same kamak in the old traditional house uh, where someone visited them. They, uh, there's a sick man in the next community and they needed their attendance. The subject, shaman, is so interesting because here in Iglerlik, this little island's been inhabited for 4,000 years. And, and uh, in those days, for years, thousands of years, people lived with shamanism. Uh, shamans uh, were also healers of the sick. Uh, there were different types of shamans, uh, but this, our film is about a healer uh, who tried to help uh, other people to get them well. And that was their job. And in those days, shamans were like businessmen. Uh, they were paid to do a job. And, but our story is about healing the sick. And, and in our scene, this old woman is uh, uh, mentoring her granddaughter, and that's why she's always around her. We only heard about Chairman and and what they did a little bit because in the last hundred years, Christianity has bulldozed over our culture and beliefs. And, but now it's, we want to maybe the idea if we start this film out and people can start talking, this is just one story. There's so many stories, uh, healing stories, shamans who were good shamans, and there were also bad shamans that tried to kill other humans. Um, there's a lot of stories out there. Uh, this is just one story about a young girl who's learning to be a shaman, to be like her grandmother when she grows up so she can help the sick. Uh, so. That's our story.